All right, guys, what's going on? Today, we got a product spotlight here. We're doing an install video, we're doing a review, we're doing the whole nine. We have, from our friends at PPE, sent us over these Dana 60 for the front and a Sterling 10 and a half for the rear diff covers. Pacific Performance Engineering is the company. Um, these are heavy duty cast aluminum front cover, and then you have the rear, which is heavy duty cast aluminum as well. So we will be adding uh, a higher capacity of oil to these when we change them. Um, and the truck we're doing it on is a 2012 Ford F-250. It has 95,000 miles on it. Never had fluid change. Covers are a little rusty, so we figure why not throw some really nice covers on to go with the new fluid. So I'm gonna unbox this stuff. I'm gonna show you guys and give you guys the rundown. You already know it's like a sore dick. Can't beat it. Thanks for stopping by. Make sure you head over to PPE and tell them Power Stroke Rick sent you and get yourself some diff covers, oil pans, trans pans, they got it all. So yeah, guys, we're gonna unbox this stuff. I'm gonna show you everything, show you putting them on the truck, and then yeah, let's get it. Welcome back to the Power Stroke Rick YouTube channel. Thanks for stopping by. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. You already know, it's like a sore dick, can't beat it. Before I show you guys this stuff, I wanna say that PPE, they're not brand specific. They got stuff for Cummins, they got stuff for Power Stroke, Duramax, they got the whole nine guys. Um, so definitely check them out. Um, so obviously these axles are the same, these axles are the same. This will be for your probably 99 to 16, or 99 to 22 actually for the front. I believe they still have the Dana 60s and the Fords. And then the 10 and a half Sterling, uh, as long as you don't have a, a dual rear wheel. So these are for lots of years of, uh, Power strokes, non-power strokes, 250, 350, 450, stuff like that. So this is what we're doing here. Now, I don't want you guys to make fun of my little ramps, all right? You do not have to jack this thing up. Ideally, you would want to do this on a you know car hoist, a lift. But for me to get under here, I have these 12,000-pound rated uh, ramps. So actually, we're doing a review on these too. But don't be alarmed because I have jack stands under it just in, just in case because you never know. Um, and then I have the rear jacked up sitting on jack stands as well, just so it's easier for me to slide in and out on the creeper and get under there and film for you guys. So you do not have to jack it up, but this is just me making it easier on myself. So we'll do a review on these ramps, uh, 12,000 pounds rated. This is just a 6.2 F-250, so it is not as heavy as a 6.7s. So we're going to show you these covers now. All right, guys. So I'm just going to read off the box for you to show you all the good stuff. You got a magnetic equipped fill plug, which is cool. Magnetic equipped drain plug, which a lot of stuff doesn't come with that anymore, which is nice. 516 socket head cap screws. I'm sure they're stainless. These will be torqued to 35 foot pounds. Make sure you guys do not over torque these covers. Uh, eighth inch MPT plug installed. Um, obviously the heavy duty cover and then 12 flat washers, which will go with the socket head. So same for this guy, the Allen head bolt. You got the magnetic plugs, same stuff. So. Getting right into the box. Well, here's first. So three quarter quart extra oil capacity. This is for the front. Let's see if this one's got anything on it. 304 stainless. Oh, the plugs are stainless too. That's cool. Uh, this will, it'll definitely be more of oil capacity, but they don't got it on here, which is all right. So getting right into the front one. I think they have a different couple different color options. Um, so right away you got your hardware, which is cool. And actually really cool, it comes with uh, instructions. So I haven't looked at this yet, but I'll open it up and show you guys. Got a cool sticker. And then you got these fins in here, which dissipate the fluid good. I don't even know if dissipate's the right word, but you know, someone check me on that. Um, we will be using uh, some black RTV. I know some of you guys will wanna use the FOMOCO RTV or whatnot, but ultra blacks works good for me. I'm gonna set these up. When I put them on, you'll see in the video, I let them cure for about 24 hours just to be safe. Then I'll add fluid, but I can't wait no longer. Here you go, guys. Man, look at that. That is for your Dana 60 in the front. Also, made in the US of A. I would definitely like to powder coat these teal and put them on my black truck over there. This is just high quality, man. The fins and everything, how the fluid will work in there. It's just, it's really nice stuff. Really nice stuff. So you got a drain plug down there. Obviously, this is your fill plug, and you got, well, your fill level, and there's another fill plug somewhere. So, rear one, same thing. You got your hardware, 
included instructions and another sticker gotta love it i'm gonna get this on the toolbox here soon uh we'll open this up and show you and then here you go man look at that that is for your sterling 10 and a half for your ford f250 350 super duty that is just really really nice so i like the inside the fins how everything's set up like that i know a lot of you guys like the banks ones a lot um there's a bunch of different you know mag high tech all that stuff bunch of different diff covers out there but this is what we're rocking with man these are really nice so yeah we're just gonna get right to it guys we're gonna show you taking the front one off we're gonna start there and then keep on going look at that this is what we're operating with here's our dana 60 she little crusted up uh i believe these are a 14 millimeter bolt so we're gonna first start by zipping them out get you a pan underneath and i'm probably gonna go under the bottom with a flat blade flat blade very carefully and break the seal of the uh, silicone so we could take this cover off and drain the fluid, obviously. So um, I'm just gonna put a time lapse on. And then, you know, long story short, cause I do kind of have a video of doing the PMF one. We're taking this cover off. We're gonna wanna cover the gears with like some towels and we're gonna wanna clean all around the surface. Really, really good. Razor blade, break clean, make sure it's super clean so that seal is good. And then we'll wipe down the surface of the new cover since it's already clean. We'll apply the RTV, we'll slap her in, torque the bolts down, let it sit for, I'd say, at least 24 hours. If not, you could probably do half a day, but I just go full full tilt, whatever it says, just to be safe. So we're going to show you zipping these off, and I'm going to put the little time lapse on, so I'm not going to bore you. So, yeah. Here is almost 100,000 mile fluid, guys. Um, I don't know if you saw, but I mostly used, I had to use the ratchet, uh, manual ratchet because of just, I don't want to strip anything with the impact right away, especially with these being in here and rusted. I should have went over with the wider wheel because there was some paint stuck on some of the bolts, but I just tapped it off with the flat blade. And then if you guys see at the end, I just zipped everything out once they were loose with the impact. Now, a lot of you guys, and even me, I will take like a flat blade and pry at it. But if you just saw on the end of my last uh, time lapse, a little trick for you guys is all I did was shock the whole cover. So from here, all the main parts of the cover, I just shocked it with the little 16 ounce hammer and it broke the seal loose, which I figured why not try it? So there's your lovely oil, man. Whew. Smells stinky, but I got it shocked, broke it loose. Um, I'm gonna pry it more here in a minute, but I'm just letting most of that drain out right now. So. Keep the time lapse rolling. So, lots of paper towels old diff cover in the box uh break clean your best friend and some of you guys i've done this on the black or the blue truck i'm sorry and i do this in all the gearboxes i do but you want it nice and clean like that obviously not a dirty surface get all the silicone off i went over with the razor blade um break clean everything make sure it's a clean sealing surface the mating surface for the rtv but again what i do is I use a scotch bright pad very lightly. I'm not applying any pressure with the uh, right angle grinder. You don't wanna see sparks. If you see sparks up there, you're doing something wrong. This is just to clean just all the gunk and everything off very lightly. So some of you Ford guys, mechanics may be not about this, but for me, it's always worked. Um, and yeah, so that surface is ready to go. Again, I do go over it with the razor blade as well. So. Yeah, we're gonna go prep the diff cover and we'll show you getting that ready. Just slapping her in. Front one's gonna be done here. So we're back at the bench here. Um, I mean, guys, this, this is just an awesome product this company makes. I mean, they even label the bolts. I mean, you're not gonna mix them up, but everything is just labeled really nice. And if you've never done this before, they even have the instructions, colored pictures. Look at this. They show you step-by-step step everything to do. So they say 20 to 25 foot-pounds. Um, maybe I'll start with that. The Ford spec was 35 from what I found. 
Uh, they even give you a, a torque for the fill plug. So we're gonna torque everything down in a crisscross pattern. They even show you the pattern to torque everything down at. That is amazing. So, and once I do put this cover on, I'm not putting fluid in it yet because I like that RTV to cure for a while. It says 24 hours. I probably won't wait that long, but I'll still wait until I add fluid it's just to be safe. So no washers for the front. It's gonna be a six millimeter Allen. We're gonna show you applying a bead all around here. We wanna go all on the inside, all around like where my finger's going, just like this. So we're gonna apply that and then it'll smush it down. And then yeah, we'll slap this bad boy on. Try not to smear it. We'll film that on a time lapse as well. guys so i'm just going around uh not torquing everything down but just tightening everything down i got these all these two started by hand it is a 5 16 allen it's not metric wrong on that so my fault oh all right let's see i'll get those two with the ratchet up there not a big deal just also i mean you guys should know when applying the rtv or gasket maker you got a certain amount of time before it drives so do not before it dries i don't know why i just said dries but you don't want to don't want to wait too long to get everything tight so that's kind of why i'm acting fast right now Right. And again, do everything in a crisscross fashion. They have everything, you know, wrote down on the instruction. Torque all these down to, uh, let's say, 35 foot pounds for Ford. Uh, PPE says 20 to 25, but I figure we'll just go with what's recommended here. So we're going to do it in a crisscross pattern. All right. I wanna go, might need an extension for this one. A little too much. Y'all saw that on camera. This one now. Did I do this one? I think I did this one. Nope, now I did. Bottom. It would be nice to have a stubby 516 to get in to uh, where the track bar is. It doesn't want to go in there too well, but it's all right. We make do with what we got. So guys, sorry if my camera angles are not the greatest, but what do you think about that? my lord that is fucking nice p p e baby front diff cover for your dana 50 and dana 60 everything is torqued down looking mighty fine look at that i went over every bolt again as well too so again like i said i'm gonna let it sit let it cure we're gonna go start doing the back now and uh yeah sore dick can't beat it baby our back one well dana 60 in the front uh, Sterling 10 and a half, 10.25 in the rear. So we are going to show you doing this one, which this is way easier to get to everything. Nothing's in the way like the drag link or the track bar. So you got a 13 millimeter millimeter for the uh, bolts. So I'm going to show you. I'm going to crack them with the uh, ratchet, and then I'll hit them with the impact, zip them all out, let the thing drain, and continue the process. <laughs>
guys you see here uh, i left the top bolt uh in just in case it fell but this one was a little more uh didn't want to come off as easy as the front one we do have about 400 layers of rust-oleum black holding this thing on including the uh rtv so i was just able to uh like i said i shocked it around it a little bit tapped lightly and then i just went in the one corner and i was able to break the silicone bead and then the paint that was there and i was just able to get the flat blade up and kind of pry it off so right now we got the fluid dripping out and uh it actually doesn't look too bad it not look too bad from over here i mean can't call it but almost hundred thousand miles so definitely a good service we got going on here so this is a plow truck so we gotta keep these uh keep these axles turning you know what i'm saying good fluid in them um i'll touch on it in a minute too what fluid are you guys using for your axles i use motorcraft obviously that's recommended um so i'll show you the motorcraft the weights and all the different stuff we got for the front and the rear uh yeah and we're gonna keep on filming a time lapse on this bad boy cleaning her up getting this cover off and we're almost home stretch so guys here's up close of uh the inside guts of a sterling 10.5 in case anyone wanted to know what it looks like it's pretty cool fluid smells nice and rank it smells like usually how gear lube smells nasty so not bad um surface is actually pretty clean i mean it turned out pretty good we only got a little bit of cleanup to do which is cool so we'll go around clean all this up and we'll break clean we'll prep we'll time lapse and we'll get the new cover prepped as well with our tv and we'll show you that that cover well the mating surface is nice and clean so we filmed that got it all cleaned got it break cleaned wiped down she is ready to have a new ppe cover on it so i'm gonna take you guys to the toolbox do a time lapse add some silicone and we're gonna come on over here the allen bolt for this is a 732 um the front one was a 5 16 so just keep that in mind and we'll show you yeah everything getting going quick uh you get your instructions for the rear as well same cross pattern um one two three four uh one and two you know I'm, i might be doing a little different i was like one boom you just want to hit all the corners you know you want to do a cross crisscross pattern um shows you torque specs i mean this is this is awesome man colored pictures if i can get my dick beaters to open this very cool again i had uh blue thread locker i'm a thread locker guy you don't have to but it's just how i am I'm not a red thread locker guy, so don't be adding that. Again, here is the ultra black gasket maker oil resistant that I'm using for both. You guys might not like that. If you don't, that's all right. Um, I break clean this just to prep it to be safe. And now we're going to slap some uh, silicone on it. And yeah, which I'm actually not even going to film. Uh, you guys want me? To, maybe I'll, yeah, I'll film it. Why not? Let me film that. Do this. Do that. It's like a sore dick. Can't beat it. Right, guys that's the full install right there what do you guys think holy shit that thing is nice so obviously you got your fill plug here um this little eighth inch me uses the fill level or you could just eye it in there if you want and then you got the drain plug on the bottom which this bad boy is beefy um can't wait to drive it i mean look at this thing man this thing is just awesome ppe you guys are the shit you make an awesome product all made in the usa front and rear and like i said guys they make everything for all brands ford chevy dodge so 
this rear is done uh the only thing more i'm going to film is me putting fluid in each of them which i might i might not but i probably will film like a time lapse of that and then end the video so wow look at that nice so guys per usual we're using all the motorcraft uh gear lube to go on the axles so 80 weight 90 is for the front and 75 140 is for the rear so you can find this in your manual how much it takes but obviously with these new covers we're going to have more fluid going in the truck so i believe the manual says like 3.9 almost four or almost a little over three for the front and i think it's like almost four for the rear so we got six and five which just to have extra hopefully we do have enough i believe we will but just once i film you guys will see how much i actually do put in and i will let you know how much extra it does add so yeah all right guys so we're here the next day i let everything sit overnight 24 hours just about you could do that or you don't have to do that it's totally up to you uh it says it on the directions but that's just how i roll so you're gonna need a transfer pump for this rear end so no i do not have a part number but honestly you can get a cheap one like this at harbor freight amazon anywhere um like i said for the rear is 75 140 for the rear axle motorcraft is what we're running so we got three quarts in already um your fill plug right here is a 18 millimeter which is down here it's got that o-ring seal on it and it's magnetic and then over here is your little fill level plug that's a i believe it's a five millimeter or four millimeter allen so once you get it to start barely running out right here cap that off and you're good to go so right up right at that fill line right there so we're gonna keep on filling and then i'll let you know how many quarts this rear end took with these new covers it's done filled her up right to that that uh drain level right there or i'm sorry the fill level there's the fill where you fill it at so this rear end now it took four almost five quarts so this is how much was left kind of in that quart so i think the oem was like 3.9 quarts so now we're about almost five quarts so yeah we're gonna go ahead and do the front all right guys so we're doing the front now the front is same thing a little different you got your fill right there there's no plug on the side of it. They do have a plug up top, up here, which you can fill through there. And then, you know, but just fill through here. Once this, before it starts running out, then cap it off, you're good. Same thing, it's an 18 millimeter magnetic plug. And we are using the Motocraft 85. Sorry, sorry for the bad angle. 85, or 80, 90 weight for the front, I'm sorry. So we're gonna slap that in there with the transfer, transfer pump, same thing. Make sure you run the old fluid out of that pump from the rear so it's not mixed, and yeah. We're gonna put her in. Front is done. Uh, once it started almost coming out of that fill, fill uh, port right there, you're good to go. Also, note, don't smoke them bolts down because there's an O-ring seal. So it's tight when it's tight. Uh, just about four quarts for the front. I believe factory is like 2.9, so adding some more fluid, which is cool. So yeah, dialed in. All right, y'all, so that is it for this video pretty much. So. PPE Pacific Performance Engineering. We got front diff cover for the Dana 60, rear diff cover for the Sterling 10 and a half. And uh, this is like a sore dick, you can't beat it. I just wanna say shout out to PPE for sending these on over. Um, you guys make an awesome product. It's made in the USA. Uh, everything's just top tier, top notch. I like the stainless bolts, the magnetic drain plugs. I mean, I can go on, but very well made product. So. Check out their website. The description is going to be in the bio for the link of their website. They got a ton of stuff, guys. Cummins, uh, Power Stroke, Duramax, uh, diff covers. A lot of my buddies got older trucks, K10s, K20s. They got diff covers for that. They got stuff for that. So they're definitely doing some cool stuff. So, again, thanks for watching. Thanks for uh, stopping by. Hit that subscribe button. And, uh, yeah, we'll see you all in the next one. Peace.